Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's still your boy Oluwashi Ajala. Today I'll be discussing with a colleague from Ghana. He will be sharing his experience about his studies and his stays in India. But before we continue, kindly subscribe to this channel so that you can get more videos about my experiences in India and my and the experiences of fellow other African students and Asian students in India. Like I told you, I will continue this interview series with other uh, foreign students here in my university. The name here in my university. So, and my university, the name of my university is Punjabi University, is in Patiala, the northern side of India. You are welcome anytime. <laughs> so, Prince, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, bro. So, can you introduce yourself to the viewers? Um, I am Principal Gass, he said, I'm from Ghana and I am pursuing Master of Art Political Science in, right here in this university, Punjabi University, Patiala. Um, I am in my second year. Currently, we are in the winter season preparing for air exams, final exams. So, we are there. this is the few I can say about me. And as the time goes on, you know more about me. Yeah, thank, thanks for the short introduction. Okay. So Prince, why India? Why, why did you choose India? You know, we have a lot of countries, we have a lot of what we call uh, US, UK, Canada. Why did you choose to come to India? Um, basically, coming to India was one of the things in my mind. When growing up, we were having some movies, we were watching India movies and a whole lot. So the orientation, about our perception about the India was known when growing up. So, I was like, okay, let me take this challenge. And I also checked the education system to be one of the best. Um, they are one of the best education system and emerging of one of the best economy in the world. And per my study as a political science, I realized that India has a long tradition and they are the largest democratic country in the world. So if you want to increase your horizon as a student of politics, you need to try to balance it with that of your country. So it will expose you to Asian studies with Africa and other stuff, so I decided to come this and among other uh, reasons. Wow, that, 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 that was a nice reason to come to India, like to come to India for studies. Like, yeah, it's true because when you, when you look at it, India is known for, for rigorous, uh, what we call, uh, academic, academic um, curriculum, you know, yeah. and, to come and, and to come and have the experience, the taste is something that is worthwhile, it's something that is worthwhile. So, um, Prince, you, you, you mentioned something about Indian movies. Do you have any uh, like favorite um, Indian actor or actress? Um, I know one of uh, Priyanka, and we uh, basically in our country they translate the movie to our local language, and we have one popular actor known as um, Abi, Abi, Abi the rock star, and we have Tanu, we have the the likes of this lady, what's her name? Um, Pragya. So these are some of the people I know. I don't know whether they have that name in uh, the same people in India, but I asked a friend, they said that, yeah, yeah. they are one of their superstars. Yeah. Actually, in, I think in Africa, Indian movies are very, very popular. You know, when you talk about Three Idiots, yeah. you talk about like Star on Art, you talk about Mission, is it Mission, uh, Pierre, uh, Pierre Impossible, yeah. you talk about a lot, a lot of Indian movies. We, we, I, I know couples, like, few, 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 few Indian movies. So um, now you are doing MA in political science and you are in Punjabi University in Patiala. Can you share us the first, your first ex experience in the class, your first day in class? How was it? You see, um, in Africa we have a liberal environment, an environment in which everything is open. But I never knew here you come to class as a master student, you go to class and they are marking register. They yeah. will mention your name. Rule number one, you have to respond to yes, mom or yes, sir. Presence, sir. So I was like, what kind of system is this? And they mark register morning, afternoon. Any teacher that will come to class will try to mark the register and make sure that you have a full attendance. And I realized that this is not an environment you can just mess up with. You just come and feel the environment to go. You do make sure that you will attend classes and learn. And also, the people look me in a weird face because I'm the only African in the class. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So, when I entered the class and uh, they were looking at me, I feel some way, I didn't know how to cooperate, I sat at a corner. They came to me, bro, what's your name, where are you from, I introduced myself. Yeah, yeah. They said, okay, we are here for you. you, you are our friends. So that was the kind of reaction that went on in the class and I mean, it didn't take much, we just carried on. Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's the, same, the same for me, so I remember my, my first day in class, 
I was, I was like, I was, I can't mingle with them like yeah. that. And I was shocked when I, when I had the lecturer calling room number, room number one, <laughs> then you stand up, present mom, present. I was like, this is, we do this in primary school yeah. back in Africa, you know, and for, for that is a system here. The att attendance is very, very, very serious. serious. And you come to school every day, like, just like normal primary school. Yeah. You come to school every day, you, you don't have any free time, you know. It's not like in Africa, let me, let's say you have a course today, maybe you have the, the same course on Friday yeah. or on Saturday. But in India, no, 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 you come to class every day, the same time. Yes. And sometimes you come to class on Saturday too, so it's very, very yeah. stressful sometimes. So, um, Prince, can you share with us your um, experience with Indian food? How was it? Huh, you have asked a big question and I've, I had the first terrible experience when I came, you know, Coming here, I heard Indian food is very spicy, and I was like, okay, someone told me to bring enough food from my country. I said, but Indians today eat, people are also living. So if I take food along, how long will that food last? Obviously, I will buy food. And I had the worst experience of my life. I came, they gave me chapati, they gave me some sauce, um, they gave me some milk. Their yeah. milk is um, mm -hmm. natural form. Yeah, they don't yeah. add sugar. And the thing tastes like fire. <laughs> it's, it's not that it's not good. The food is nice. As time goes, I realize that the food is nice. By tasting it for the first, first time, time bro, yeah, it's, it's not easy. Not easy. Like, the spice will alone will scare you from eating the food. Yeah, I, I remember too. I was I was taken to mess my first time in India, and I was I was served their rice. You know, I could not even taste one spoon. And, and and in the mess they will write take what you can eat yeah yeah uh, you should not waste food you know yeah. that kind of stuff I could not eat the fried I I I told the Ethiopian um, PhD student that took me there I was like I can't I can't eat this so the the fried egg again I can't I could not eat the egg I was yeah. like hey how will I be able to survive uh, with this kind of system but luckily we are surviving okay yeah. so now can you, what can you advise uh, what we call future student African student or maybe from another co uh, country or continent trying to come to India about food will you advise them to bring some food from their country or they should just come and um, adjust to the system we are living in a society whereby 90 percent more than that about 95 percent of them are vegetarian but in as much as we were yes. finding it very difficult to eat we realized that we they, they have um, non-veg, uh, non-vegetarian food around. We go outside, buy chicken, we buy mutton, and don't never try to think about beef because these people, <laughs> cow yeah, is a yeah, sacred yeah, thing yeah, to yeah, them, yeah, yeah, and you have to respect their culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also another thing I want to add is that you can carry some food that will last, uh, non-perishable food like gari, some like shito, those local things, and you add up to it and bring it. But thinking of bringing food, no food can last you for two years. So I think it will be very good for the first time you add something on you. I brought about two cups of gari. That gari really saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I also brought, I also brought gari. Yeah, yeah. I remember that I brought gari. I brought... And I remember your incident where you order gari from. Yeah, and, and it's, <laughs> it's very expensive to order. If, if you are coming from Africa. Even I think that market, they have closed They closed the market. Yeah. yeah, it's closed now. When you are coming to from Africa and you think you can get uh, what we call African food. Actually you can get but they are very very expensive you know and you have to order online and the, 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 the online shops I used to use I think it has been closed so you can't order. From, uh, they, from they have um, um, a system to protect the local farmers mm. so you have to consume whatever is produced here yeah. uh, so yeah. they do not allow competition from the external world and if you want staple food like cassava, um, yam, plantain, Coco yam, those things are not here. Yeah, they are not you will not here. get it. Yeah, but exactly. the vegetables, the fruits, oh, they are yeah, in abundance. Can. You know, you know, when when I came to India, I was like, you know, even ordinary picnic you can't find. Like anything imported is hardly you will see. But you get to see their local make. You see most things is local, locally made, and it's for local people to consume. Yeah. You know. So, uh, Prince, what was your reaction to uh, the culture? Like, how did you see the culture? with compared to you are coming from africa so compare the two settings together the culture the indian culture and the african culture or the Ghanaian culture how was it you see india indians have a, a long standing tradition and a long culture and you cannot mention india without mentioning culture everything is about them they cherish their culture to the point that campus 
they hardly speak English. It's not that they don't speak English, but they see their language as something important to them. And they always try to not to I don't want to use the word impose or forcing you, but they want people to appreciate them. So in a way they will tell you please speak in Punjabi. They can tell you one word. Kehale means how are you? Then you, you respond Bedia, Bohot Bedia, Bohot Bedia means very good. So they will once they told you one thing, they expect that every day you say. And one thing with them that if you want to get along with them, try to speak their language. When you meet them, they have a common salutation, Sasilika, then the person will respond Sasilika, then Kehale G, G means something like say a respect from, they will then they will respond um, Bohot Bedia, then the conversation goes on. So I think they are India everything about them, most of them, they cherish their culture, everything is really on point. But in my side, we also cherish our culture, yes. but the Western infiltration is too much. We live in a Western side, their style of dressing. Even to see a lady with a mini skirt and other stuff is very difficult. Very rare, yeah, so very they rare. have they wear their traditional clothes even to classroom. So that system and the mechanism to mingle well with African girls here is never the same. Mm. You go to class, ladies. Sit at one side, guys will sit at side to one side. You don't visit ladies' hostel, yeah. ladies doesn't come to your hostel. Yeah. So that kind of boy-girl relationship is really high here. Yeah. Yeah. Restricted here. Yeah, very, very restricted. You know, back in Africa, you can sit next to, to a lady yeah. in class. You can be in practical yeah. group together. But in India, you know, this kind of segregation, boys should be, uh, what we call, to be separated from boys. It's, it's very, very common, you know. It's very, very common. Yeah, I, I think why 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 what, what can you say about that? What caused that? Um, basically, in my readings, I came across. Um, they said they respect women. One thing is that they respect women, and they want to preserve their virtue, moral standard, so that in in, in order to prevent that illicit art of um, illicit relationship whereby. Um, a married man and a woman will get along and doing so many things. I think one is the way. Oh. And I don't want to probe into much because yeah, yeah, yeah. you ask them, they will not give you any Question. good reason. Any answers. Yeah. So you have to just let it be. Okay, yeah. So like you, you mentioned about the culture, you talk about the language. Can you just give us like, can you introduce yourself in the, what is the local language here, Punjabi? They speak Punjabi. Can you introduce yourself maybe in, in two sentences with Punjabi? Okay. <laughs> Kehaleji, uh, Sasika everyone, Kehaleji. Then uh, I say, Meranam Opoku Prince Kehe. My name is Opoku Prince. Um, <laughs> my, my, the, the winter is growing over my yeah, 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 Then yeah, yeah. Uh, I can say that many India, Bedia Lagia. I'm very happy to be in India. Then you can say that, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. That is it. That is. These are the few lines I can recite. You, you even try. And I even have basic um, transactional skill. If you go to market, you ask, um, "Can you pass it? Can you pass it means how much?" Then the person will go respond with the prices. Uh, maybe hundred rupees, two hundred rupees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. We tried actually. Me, my Punjabi is not that. It's not that good. You know, it's not that good. And I don't know why, but I would. I can still speak like, you know, Kiale, Badia, <laughs> Chai means tea, yeah. Pani means water, yeah. you know, like some, some sports. And sports uh, you know, I like food, so <laughs> the first thing I, I learned was um, Menu Pukulage. Menu Pukulage means yeah, I'm, I'm very hungry. Oh. Yeah, now you talk about food. Tell us your best Punjabi food. Um, my best Punjabi food so by Chapati. You know, um, chapati is like, uh, I don't know, it is prepared from meat. They have some ingredients they use. And I think they eat chapati with something. So chapati and what? Chapati, we call it da. They have da, they have milk. They also have potato yeah. with bron uh, broncali and other stuff. So they mix it very delicious. Yeah. Very delicious. Yeah. I, I like chapati too, you know, eat chapati. And chapati and there is one thing they prepare with is it beans or something? That is it, dal. Da, yeah. And you right. cannot come into India without uh, eating rice. It, rice is just like um, a trademark. Yeah, yes. You eat it dry. morning, afternoon, very evening. Very common. Very common. So let's talk aside aside academics. Uh, what can you say about you know when people 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 used to think India is full of only academics, class, class, class. Aside academics, what can you what uh, what are you into? That you can share with okay, us. I can record that um, I, I came, I realized that I have there are a lot of opportunities like attending conferences, joining 
NGOs and social organizations are very much much available here so i will use the opportunity as i classroom thing to upgrade myself and i started with with my friend my, my other colleagues publishing and my lecturers in ghana mr man Rev, uh, reverend amano i salute you he also joined to the point that doctor, doctors published with me now i have seven publications and aside that i also joined um world economy forum initiative known as global shapers whereby a group of youths come together to solve grassroots um, problems. It is basically a, a huge platform for many people and I've I attended a lot of international conferences and I was privileged to attend one um, fellowship, Cotelier Fellowship, whereby I was among the few individuals selected to have a dinner with the Foreign Affairs, the then Foreign Affairs Minister. May, may her soul rest in peace, Mrs. Sus Susmas Raj and Ahmed, the Vice President of India. We had an interaction and a breakfast with him at the parliament floor, uh, par the floor of parliament with him. So it was really a nice exposure. Besides that, um, yeah, besides that, we also do other things. Come into contact with you, showing us the way. Yeah, no, 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 this no, is no, a high profile no, no, figure. No, 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 I must tell you that I've learned from him. And other African colleagues, you don't want me to show the good side, but no, I've also learned from you. Coming you know, it's, to coming to contact with you, it's, 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 it's good amazing. side, you know, two ways, two ways to learn from me, learn from you, it's kind of thing. Actually, it has been mutual, and the experiences for us have been very, very awesome. Yeah, yeah you know, you know, Prince, I told one of my friends that we play football in India. I was like, no, he only he only knows India with singing, dancing. What can you say to you about that? Okay. Um, Basically, football is not a dominant game here. What they know is cricket. Yeah, they like they cricket. They are very good in cricket and I think they have been dominating in the world. Mm -hmm. Just to say that. But India has a liberal environment. They have good um, sporting facilities available. Yeah. available. Uh, we have a um, gym. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. I gym. Yeah, gym. And I, I realized that the muscles became too big, so I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> And apart from that, we also have, um, I told you, the facilities are there, football pitch, about five or so available on campus. So we, together, uh, as, as African students, we meet and have some exercises, we play football. We also meet um, other Indians who are yeah. also very good in football. I never knew that they can I think play. one day I will go there and cover the, the whole thing for sure, you. So that sure. you say, we play football here. Yeah. We play football, we play football, facilities are available and football, people are around, they are so open, you can just flow with them, just flow with them. And the field is just lovely, so many mechanisms, you can do jogging, you can do, what do you call it, handball, volleyball, so many activities are pitched uh, for them to explore your skill. Yeah, let's talk about weather, you know, when, when, like, I remember during the summer, it was very hot here, and people think like in Africa, the temperature is very, what can you say about that, when, when you want to compare, the weather of India with, let's say Ghana, let's not mention Africa because Africa is a continent on its own. Uh, basically, in, these people are one people, I don't know, I don't want to put it in the wrong context. What they know most about Africa is South Africa, most. If you tell them you are from Africa, uh, you are from Ghana, they say South Africa. I think next man, um, well, this man, Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi was once in Ezra, also in South Africa, so they are most um, familiar with South Africa. But then when I came here, I was complaining about the weather. The weather can go as far as 40, 40 degrees, 46 yeah, degrees. During, during summer, like summer. 40 degrees. You will feel the, we came you in feel the heat. Uh -huh. So when I came and I was complaining about the, the weather, they said, no, Africa is hotter than this. I said, no, my country, our maximum temperature is around 28, 30 yeah, degrees, yeah. 32. They were shocked. We checked Google online and it was true. They said, ah, we thought India, Africa is so hot. Every people, everybody talk about Africa being the hot, the hottest and other kind. I said, no, no, it's not never the same. Some places are very hot. Even in my country, we have a part which is very hot. And now we are in the winter season. Which can, the weather can, the temperature can drop as low as um, three degrees. Yeah, and degrees. We are even closer to a place they experience snow. Yeah. Can you imagine? I never knew snow. <laughs> Indians have a snow. Yeah, yeah, me too. I don't know. There I don't are know some other places they have snow. And I was like, wow. And it was a nice. And we'll go there. I think yeah, we vacation. are planning to go after yeah. after our examination. We'll we go, go and go have there. a. See, see, see. So, subscribe if the new notification comes. You'll just see yeah. the new experiences. <laughs> um, in the what, what is the name of the place? Himacha Pradesh. Himacha Pradesh. They have Manali, Kuru Manali. Yeah. They have so many places. And. Don't forget, you are closer to Pakistan, but, uh, <laughs> but 
it's very peaceful. I think one of the most peaceful area in Pan uh, in India is Punjab. Mm, yeah, yes, there are yes. so many places, tourist sites, places to um, experience. So so nice. Yeah, the, let's let's talk about challenges in India. Okay. When it comes to about you know this perception of um, racism, you know uh, discrimination. Can you share an experience on how you overcome? Have you have you have an experience? <coughs> have you had an experience rather? And how did you overcome? Or you never came across? Such? Um, I mean, living I am living in a community where they respect many people. Their Sikh religion basically came out as a result of this discrimination in other religion. I don't want to mention any religion, but these Punjabis they realize that no, there are some other religions who suppress human rights and discriminate against other people. So they want to bring them into one umbrella whereby they brought they brought um the, the Sikh religion under their auspices of um Guru Gombi uh, no, no, it's not Guru Gombin Singh. Uh, Guru Nanak Dev. Yeah, Guru Nanak Dev. Science, he, so. he brought <laughs> the idea of Sikhism and he instituted one of the Gurus, Guru Gombin Singh also instituted an institution of Langa, whereby a community, it's a community kitchen. They, these people are so good. If you're hungry, you go to their, their temple, they have free, free food. 24-7, <laughs> they serve you. Yeah, free food. So this is a system to, I mean, overcome the challenge of racism. There are elements of racism. You go the first time we came here, we went to a bank and we stood we went we spent like four or five hours in yes, the bank. We just open together. bank account. Just to open bank and can. You go to a shop to buy something, these people will not attend to you. A small boy will come, they will just bypass you. But we realized we felt it to be bad, like they are discriminating against us. No no yeah, it's it was a because language. when you when you go there, you go there early and another yeah. person came behind you and they attended yeah, the person, they attended. So you feel like what is happening here so we, we felt bad but along the line we try to speak talk to them no knowing some of them it was a communication problem most of them do not speak english they have their local language they speak even in classroom it is both english medium and uh, punjabi medium so they like their, their language so that was the problem but not necessarily means um as um racism so we, we realized that we have to I speak think their language. The fear, the yeah, fear. The fear you to know, once they see the an, an, an African person, they believe that the only language you can speak is English. English. And they, 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 they don't. They speak English. I don't say they don't, but it's not like da da They da. don't flow. Yeah, it's not. It's not like it, that. even in Africa, when you speak English and you make mistake, people will laugh you, mm -hmm. or make fun of you. So yeah, they yeah. have that perception that if I speak the language and I get it wrong, wrong. so that is their fear. Okay. And also, I remember I went to. One area, I don't want to mention the name, but mm -hmm. we, I traveled to south of India and I went for a conference. In a conference, one guy said something and I, it was so bad. But mm -hmm. I cannot say that based on that Indians are racist. No. We have uh, many people have showed me love, not one single person doing something bad that will just tarnish the image of India. Never. You see? Yeah, I think everybody me to had that kind yeah. of experience. You know, it's not like you, you there will be traces. They have it, some it expression. They have some expression, they said, Bohot bad, the Bohot black. Yeah. The Bohot black means you are too dark. <laughs> and what they, it's an element of um, racism, mm -hmm. but not most of them, some people who are in court. I think when you, when, you, when you arrive in India, they try to learn some bad, bad words so yeah. that you will know if one person is talking bad at yeah. you. You will be able to. Yeah, they will, they will teach you yeah. some naughty words. Yeah, I try to learn this. And I, I, let me give my experience at um, that place. Okay. I don't want to name names. Yeah, because, don't, don't, um, name, don't name them. I went to the place, we went to the conference, and people were taking picture with, pictures with us. Just tell us what happened, then how you handled the situation, yeah. and what happened after this. situation. People, people, we, people were taking pictures with us. We were happy having fun, getting along with them. So. After we left, we stopped the picture, picture, taking the pictures. One guy came and was like, why do you think people are taking pictures with you? He said, ah, they, they like us and other stuff. He said, no, because you are black and you are inferior. Sir, really? I am inferior and you superior taking picture with me? Initially, I didn't take it bad, but we realized that upon another reflection, I told my other colleagues, my other colleagues also heard of it and we realized that it is bad. So we have to change that notion. We approach the person and the person was like, he was making fun. I said, no, racism is not something to be made fun of. Yeah. So we told the person to apologize. He accepted it, he apologized and said he will never repeat it again. So in as much as the person um, made a mistake or did something mm. abnormal, it's not yeah. good. 
but then the reaction to it too can make it, the person change and now the person is in a good tense you call us brothers how are you we say we are fine we are getting along with it yeah. but one thing is that um it wasn't easy but yes, yes, upon yes. this reaction we realized that yeah he accepted it he apologized and said you'll never do that again yeah, and we are moving true. on yeah it's not easy you know it's and for easy. me in punjab i've never experienced that kind of element whereby someone will look at you disrespect you because of because think, you are yeah black. i think never, punjab never. punjab is, is a very good very place good to be place, it's a yeah. very good peaceful. like when it comes to weather peaceful yeah it's a very good place to be come to punjab especially yeah. come to this university yeah. like punjabi university yeah. it's a good place for you to as a foreign student it's a good place yeah. for you to be and they have a um, respect so so much respect for foreign students no much respect at times when you are having problems that kind of reaction please don't take extension mm-hmm. one thing with these people <laughs> yeah it's true, Any, it's true, anybody it's have a, um, they have solution to every problem mm-hmm. <laughs> i remember i was going somewhere someone told me hey, please can you show me this place and one thing is that if you follow much directions of these people you get you lost, get lost. <laughs> in order to turn you off the best they thing feel is to use your google map they yeah. are so good that if the person doesn't know their location just show you some place so if you follow <laughs> you get lost so yeah. you use the google map it will take you everywhere yeah 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 because you can you maybe you are going to the mall to buy something and someone tell you when you get to this junction branch right, like this yeah. when you get there another person will tell you go this, go side. this so way at the end of the day you get lost so the yeah. best thing is for you to um, to use your google map and go yeah i want to also to talk about this thing you know a lot of people are coming to india and let's say a lot of foreign students are coming to india and i think from airport to your university there is always a problem sometimes maybe you are coming through scholarship and the scholarship uh, what we call committee or the organizer yeah. supposed to pick at the airport and you know you, you can't find them can you share can you can you just give them advice okay. can you share your own experience and give advice maybe should in case anybody find him or herself in okay. that kind of situation i am a first time traveler and um, uh, we were cont- i was myself and other colleagues were contemplating how we we'll get to our campus or our university safely and our um, the embassy in high commission of india in ghana told us that they have contacted the scholarship authority so they will come and pick us from the airport so we we had in mind we, we reached the airport and we saw a placard with my name and they just pick us from there but to those who do not have that facility or mechanism to communicate with them if you get to the airport the first thing they have a place to change dollars so if you are having a dollar with you you don't have change the dollar to rupees are you telling them to change all the no 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 like how much like, yeah if you have 100 dollars uh, change the 100 dollars i think now 1 dollar equals 70 rupees so you get like 7000 rupees i'm talking from my end from um delhi to uh, Punjabi, yeah. uh, Punjabi University of uh, Chandigarh, that's what I'm telling you. The price is not much. You can um, negotiate with a driver and they, they have a bus facility. You can go to Kashmir Gate, which if you want a comfortable one with the AC, mm. it will take like 400, 500 rupees. Yeah. If you do not have that mechanism and you want to, you want to charter an Uber, you can yeah. tell yeah. someone they will book Uber for you. The price is online. You see your price, you pay. Yeah, you so, are safe. You are safe. But if you want to, if you don't want to spend much, you just go and take your public bus, transport. public transport, which is very safe and also, also secure. Yeah, okay. And they have one of the best. I mean, I don't know, I don't roads. know other places. They have the best roads. Even yeah. in rural areas, you the imagine, road yeah, system yeah. are so good. You never struggle with the road. Traffic is not much. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think for me, when I came to India, you know, I I just arrived at Delhi International Airport. Yeah, Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi International Airport. I was not, I, I, I saw one lady because, you know, I came on scholarship as well. So I saw one lady that, but I don't know how, you know, how everybody is new, new, new. And for for, for my first time, so yeah. I arrived in, in, into a country that I was the only one with complexion, like with, with a skin color there. So everybody was just like, oh, I was like, what is this? Where am I here? So I didn't, I didn't even bother to look for where, whether they, 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 they came to pick me or not. I just went outside, you know. I changed like a, a dollar. I changed like a, a five, um, hundred dollars to rupees. Then I booked Uber. Then the book Uber took me to my university. Just I just tell them where you are going. Inside the airport, you see all these taxis. Just take um, what we call taxi from 
the airport to your school. Okay. So right now we are about to run. Is it round up or round yeah, up? Yeah, round up. Yeah, we are about to round up the interview. So what can you say? Do you have any advice or anything? You just feel like you want to share with? To be to be honest with you, you India is just like most places. You see a bad person, you see a good, 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 good person. So remember that. Um, just India, is, this place is a relaxed environment, very peaceful, no problem. You have freedom to move to everywhere you want without any restriction, without much problems or difficulties. So I will encourage you to come to this place and to choose Punjabi University Patiala and you will never um, regret coming here. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities and I think, I think India has been a breakthrough and a very important part of my academic career. So this is, uh, these are the few I will tell you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for having me on the yeah, show. It's my pleasure. Actually, in the nutshell, it's trying to tell you that be open-minded. Come to India. Don't be afraid of anything. Forget about anything people tell you in your country. Just be open-minded. Be ready to learn. Be ready to experience for yourself. And once you have that kind of mind, then you are you are okay. You are okay. No, no problem. Come to. I can recommend this university for you, Punjabi University in Patiala. Come to Punjabi University in Patiala. Come and enjoy the good weather, the good academic system, system. and everything, the good environment. So, I mean, that is, this is the end of, of, of the interview. I hope you enjoyed the interview and I hope you subscribe to the channel. See you next one, on the next one. Bye-bye.